Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to spend just a few minutes showing you some tips on how to enter your data into the GraphPad QuickCalc if you're trying to do a one-way chi-square test. Now, QuickCalc's calculator is pretty neat, but it has some quirks when it comes to entering the expected frequencies, and I'll show you some ways that you can do that. So, let's go look at the data I'm going to enter first. I have that in Excel. Here's the data I have from the CDC. It's on opioid deaths in the United States in 2017. And it's broken down into seven age groups here. And I also have the information not only for the United States, but also for several other states. Now, all, all 50 states are there. But I'm pr primarily interested in right now in Florida, which I've highlighted in green. Now, these are the observed counts in 2017 for these age groups. And there are some apparent differences there, but the question would be, is there really a statistically significant difference in the distribution according to these age groups? If there is not a difference, then this would be one-seventh, the, the observed counts or the expected counts would be one-seventh of this total. That's known as a uniform distribution. And we're going to get the data into a format, the expected counts into the formats that we can put into the graph pad. I start by clicking in the cell and I've got a column label fraction and I'm just going to put in the fraction 1 equal 1 slash 7 and it gives me 0.14285 and there's a lot of digits that aren't shown there but that is what I need for my 1 7th fraction and I'm going to drag that down and you can see, because there's all those hidden decimals, this adds up pretty doggone close to 1.0000, which you need for the quick counts graph pad. That needs to be one. Now we need our count. And these need to be integers. And here's the way I do that. I'm just going to take equal and take my fraction times the total, because I need 1 7th in each of these cells, hit enter. And that gives me 502. But I want to make sure it's an integer, that there's nothing hidden out here. And there may be, depending upon how you, you calculate that. The way I get rid of that and convert it to an integer, just retype it, 502. Now I know there's no hidden digits somewhere. And I can drag that down to the other six cells, and then double check 3514, 3514. So that will work in GraphPad. Finally, I want the percent. GraphPad wants percent entered as a whole number, and you can have decimals if need be here. So I'm going to take this 0.1428, and I'm going to round it to just 14.3% and drag that down. Could be equal, but whoops, it doesn't equal 100. So because I round it, I'm just going to take this first one and round it a little bit more to 14.2 to get that to be exactly 100. Now I have what I need that I can paste into Quick Count easily. Let's go back to Quick Count. I'm back at Quick Count, and we're interested in this part on the bottom where we're going to enter our data. Now, there are two ways of entering data. The default is for you to type in each cell, cell by cell by cell. That's slow, and you can make typos. So I prefer to paste my data. And I'm going to click the second option there, enter or paste, and it will change the format. Now I can paste in my data from Excel. So I'm going to go back to my Excel, and I want to get my categories, just highlight those, right click, copy, and I can go here to category, right click, paste, go back to my Excel, and I want to get my observed counts, right click, copy, go back here, paste. Now I need my expectives, and it, the default is the count. This is the actual number, and it needs to be count integers. So I'm going to go back here, and I have those in this count column. Highlight those, right click, copy, go back to quick counts, and then paste that in. Now I have the data that I need, and I can hit Calculate Now. And we get the results, which is what we want. Now the other ways you can enter, I'm just going to go back to my back arrow there, and I'm going to get rid of the counts. 
go back to my Excel. This time I'm going to use the fraction. Copy that. Go back to Quick Counts. This time I want to click on Fraction. And, whoops, get it in the right place. Paste. And I did it again. I've got to make sure it lines up. And calculate. And we get the same results. Now I'm going to go back here. Get rid of the fractions. This time we're going to do the percent. And I'm going to take my percents. Right click. Copy. Make sure in the right spot this time. Paste the percent. Calculate. And I didn't do something right there. <laughs> what I forgot to do was to click percent. Now I can calculate and we get the same results. Got to pay attention, Dr. Don. Note, I showed you three ways that you can enter your expected frequency counts, but you only have to do one, and then you just need to report these results in your report. Hope this helps.